today. The Finder newspaper says, stop beating war drums in respect of election 2020. Nanado cautions Mahama. Dr. Bomia launches ECG's mobile payment application. Supreme Court dismisses injunction against National Cathedral uh, construction and over 7,000 children in Ghana died before age five in 2019. Dr. Sego Moses of the Ghana Health Service uh, wants us to know that fact is ch chilling. Um, Daily Graphic. Graphic Business Stambic Bank Breakfast Forum passed tax exemption bill. A speaker's advice government. The UCC introduces improved cowpea varieties. And Niko Tejani investigations. <coughs> Yoko gets green light, but he fly, uh, uh, files appeal against court ruling. Peace setting after December polls. President addresses Mohammed's concerns. On the back page, new job in traditional council conducts first baseline survey. Uh, that's what we're told. The Ghanaian Times reports that at the 20th Tescon anniversary celebrations, which is ongoing, Ghana won't plunge into chaos after December 7 election. President responds to ex-president Mahama. Ghana ranked second highest on MasterCard Index of Women Entrepreneurship Worldwide. And yesterday, uh, Bosch Clough, uh, Jennifer Dodu was launched here in Ghana. Uh, so the women are doing very well. Man grab for impregnating daughter. Oh, ho. Oh. We're best managers of economy. The president, uh, Akufor, is declared. And on the back page, Kotoko to face Indiana Stars wrath at Doma, given the fact that the uh, Kumasi Sports Stadium has been shut down for innovation ahead of the set match celebrations. Daily Guide Supreme Court balances anti cathedral suit. John Jinapol lies about precedent in parliament. And Anna blasts Mahama over EC comment. Bomia launches ECG recharge up. And Amidu case, uh, age case, set for judgment. You know, there was a uh, confusion about Mr. Martin Amidu, whether he was not too old to hold the position that he's holding. Uh, Volta, OT chiefs admit Nana needs four more years, uh, as they say, to do more. My guest this morning, the Honorable Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency, uh, he is also in the race one more time, hopefully, to win it again and represent his people, the Honorable Alaji. Uh, Suhini Al Hassan is here, and also uh, the Chief Executive Officer of Maslock, Mr. Stephen Amwa, uh, say, who would say good morning to the good people of Insha. So I'm sure uh, he's also here. Good morning, Steve. Welcome. Good morning. Alaji. Thank you. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm well. Now you're doing my greetings for me. Say again. <laughs> you're doing my greetings. Oh, I'm preempting Thank you so what, much. what you will do. Thank it shows your endorsement <laughs> and support. <laughs> Have you filed? I see. Yes, I have. You have filed? filed. Yes. Okay. Because last week he said he was going to file, so... Mm -hmm. um, I hope you met people at the you, office. You didn't do it with pump and pageantry like others. We are told are using helicopters too. Oh, who has... I'm told. I don't know. Hey, so I don't know. Pump and pageantry. I think, you know... Did you do it with pump you know, and You know pageantry one religion... Question. Did you do it with do you, pump and You know one religion I cherish most? No. It's Islam. Did you do it but with pump sometimes I wonder if my colleagues from NDC who are Muslims and Christians read... The Bible and the Quran. Okay, let's not. Who go, has done that? Who has done with helicopter? How can let, you let's not go on. Did, did you do yours with brass band and? No, no, I didn't. Oh, you didn't do anything. You just went to submit. Yes, I okay. did, but um, definitely some people who come mm. and follow you. Yeah, but you saw people at the office. The, the complaints are that mm. some people can't find people at if, the offices if, to if, submit if their if forms if or the, to pick the forms. If there is rumor about one issue, or even if it occurred. Mm. Um, you cannot just conclude that the way people are telling some no, 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 my place was very peaceful. Okay, yours was okay. Yeah, by the grace of God, it was. And mm. I think most places, most places. Mm. But of course, good news is always not the one written on mm. the rocks. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay. That's very good. Alaji, how are you? Well, I'm How are your grounds? Uh, inshallah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's being kept by God. Mm -hmm. You know, all is well. And. Um, I just sometimes get very disturbed when my brother goes uh, the tangent that he is very fond of going. Um, no, this one, that, the fanaticism, like yeah, the fanaticism is dangerous. I it's mean, dangerous. yeah, it's uh, he he <laughs> that that talk oh, about Christians when you are and Muslims. You think somebody is, use helicopters? Is fanatically submitting his form? Listen, allow, no, allow, this allow, is allow him to make his point. So this, you also allow me to do this. Is, yeah. This is not. Sure. A but you have spoken already. This is his welcome. If you start this, 
I'll then you have to sack me. He's starting something. Steven. Fanatism. Steven Amor. Reply, Steven Amor. Stop doing that. Steven Amor. I'm serious. You came I will, here. I will not Steven. This to Steven. You. I'm telling you. But if you misbehave, I'll sack you off the set. If too. I misbehave. Yes. But if he misbehaves, I welcome, I'll misbehave. I have welcome both of you. Then you better sack me Steven. Now. Let me go and Steven, do a program. I have welcome you both of you. And don't tell me and if I, I have, misbehave. And I have. The fact that you're holding the program doesn't mean if I misbehave. I'm older than you. Let's show respect. Steven. No, you can't use Steven, those words. I have given you a chance to but speak. But don't use words the man if I is speaking, And you are going, you're what, go, what you're, you're interrupting. No, what have I done? So you are interrupting him. He's never interrupted me on the program Please keep quiet and let him speak. Don't use the word misbehave. Please keep quiet and let him Don't use the word misbehave. That one, if you use, I won't be pleased with you. Just show respect. That's all. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry Thank if you, you feel hurt yes. by it, but no, don't heckle him. Don't no, don't heckle him. Okay, fine. Don't heckle him. Fine. But I didn't say speak. I said you when you finish. Him. No, I said when you finish. I also but give you can't him the have a second go at at something. You have said yours and even discarded I've said it. What? You said good morning. Yes. He said it's good morning. Mm -hmm. Then you debunked that That's somebody has submitted the Boss. thing with hel helicopters. No, and he, he said, said that your place was calm. Exactly. And now he goes on to, to make his point, and he's which using will be his second goal. I agree, but he's using what fanatism. What is your difficulty? He's using fanatism. But I need to, to distribute what is your difficulty with his it's work. Okay, you go on. We're not talking about religion. Why are you, you bringing religion here? It's my opinion. So I allow him to also I have his opinion. I believe people shouldn't be on set and lying to Ghanaians. So right. let him have his opinion. Thank you. I'm so allowing you get your him. chance, you can rebut. That's all How that I said. How difficult is that? But that's all that I said. Oh, Stephen Amor. What did I say? So you need to make your points, yeah. please. You yeah. know, and that is what has just been demonstrated. The, the, the very dangerous fanatism that, you know, um, I see about some of his comments. I think that it is dangerous. You know, you can start lightly like the way he has started, but end like the way, um, what's the name of that German despot? Um, um, the German despot Hitler. The, Hitler. You know, let's not let's not joke with some of these these commentaries to suggest like he is fond of doing. Oh no, and no no true Christian or no true Muslim will belong to the end. I mean, it's, it's it opinion. always it always it's it's it, it may be your p opinion, but it's a dangerous oh, you know fanatical uh, uh, you know uh, 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 <coughs> idea to push. It's not safe. Okay. It's it's not good. And Thank I you. think that. Uh, 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 as 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 a friend, if I am to you, I, I think it is it is important I draw your attention to that so that you you stop that attitude. Okay. But let me say good morning that to the very well. good people of the Tamale North constituency and to our viewers in general. Okay, thank you, but gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen, uh, let's uh, let's say, gentlemen. Think no, you don't have you to don't, be on you, set. You don't have the floor, please. And, you don't have the floor. And make blatant Steven lies. Even Amwa, you don't have the floor. Should have corrected you. Allow me to moderate my show. Yeah, I mean, so between you and are, I, they know who is, Suhini, who is a liar. Suhini, you don't have a floor. Too. You see helicopter. Suhini, you don't have the floor, too. Yeah, gentlemen. <laughs> let's set the rules for this debate. I will ask the question, and I will give each of you a chance to speak. When you have your chance to speak, everybody keeps quiet until the speaker is done. Sure. I will have questions to ask if I find them necessary to ask. There's no blank check on this show, and I shall go on to ask the questions. When your time is up, you keep quiet. The next speaker goes on. As many as are in favor, say aye. <laughs> okay. Well, I can hear your producer saying okay. aye. So Thank aye. you. <clears throat> so that I am not seen as being biased. Peace setting after December 7 polls. President Kufuado has once again assured the nation that the peace and stability the country is enjoying will be maintained before the, uh, during uh, and after the December 7 polls. He said he was confident that the good sense of Ghanaians, which has preserved the peace and stability of the Fourth Republic for the last 27 years, would prevail and that Ghanaians would not permit and uh, dissipate Lusa to plunge the country into uh, chaos. Addressing the 20th anniversary celebrations of the founding of the Tertiary Students Confederacy Tescon of a new patriotic party at the auditorium of the whole technical institution, uh, University of Beggar Party in the Volta region, the president said, I think that it is important for the credibility of our national public discourse that public persons are seen to be uh, consistent in. Stephen, Mr. President is asking Mr. Mahama. Uh, not to beat war drums and and that peace will prevail this this comes on the back of a lot of public concerns especially the call for a new register electoral commission says no and so many other issues something that 
that could be a panacea for, for if you like, chaos. The president says, so long as I'm president, this would never happen and we would have peace. Should we trust the president? <coughs> Thank you very much. Um, my greetings to the entire Ghanaian community and the great people in Nishia Eso. Um, you've already <coughs> greeted them for me, but you want to hear me greet them. Um, just before then, I would like to say that none of the aspirants in MPP has submitted his or her form with helicopter or by helicopter. That is palpable false. It's never true. It's a big lie. Um, what President Ekufuadu is talking about is something that I think <coughs> all and sundry must support. Because there hasn't been any cause for alarm. And I really like the way you put it. You said that um, some Ghanaians, mm -hmm. and it's good, it means a fraction of Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Because even the NDC's own fraternity, some are not in favor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of their leading members, Alutejo Kob and Co, are all kicking against what they are doing. Okay. In any case, mm -hmm. can the EC be allowed to exercise its constitutional mandate? Mm -hmm. Is the EC actually embarking on anything contrary to our constitution? No. The constitution stipulates that clearly, mm -hmm. even without going through parliamentary approval or otherwise, mm -hmm. that it can do what it wants to do. It has found some of our operations and models and gadgets obsolete. Mm -hmm. And they think they have to review. That's the essence of M, E, and A. Mm -hmm. Now, modern authors have added A to M and E, okay. monitoring, evaluation, and adjustment. Okay. And adjustment can be in the form of structural adjustment, functional adjustment, mm. framework adjustment, mm. all the segments of any value chain or critical activity of any processes or set of activities. Once the EC finds necessary, mm. can do that within the confines of the Constitution. 2012. It happened under President, former President Mahama, mm -hmm. respectfully. I think this is the third time or so or fourth time we are doing this. It's not something new. When it happened, mm -hmm. the then MPP in opposition, some kicked against it. Mm -hmm. And they demonstrated. And what happened? They were brutalized. Somebody even lost his eyes. Mm -hmm. Others got tortured. They got cutlass wounds and other things in this country under former President Mahama. The NDC have been given their constitutional right and mandate express their fundamental human rights and opinion by demonstration and other things. Mm -hmm. Nobody has been touched. That clearly defines the difference between the NDC fraternity and the MPP fraternity. That defines the leadership style of Ekufuado and the leadership style of former President Mahama. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying is that, what is the call from? Is it not the same president that just before he made this unfortunate statement, respectfully, said that the EC should be allowed to do its work. And he, the statement you're alluding to is that uh, if anything untoward happens, the EC must be held accountable. That's, that's what you're saying. No, right? no, 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 no. He's made two major or emphatic statements. Okay. One, he said the EC should be allowed to work. When he was president. No, no, he said it. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I don't know. I've seen it, whether it was when he was or now. Mm -hmm. But he said the EC must be allowed to do its our exercise is mandate. Right. And now he's saying that just because the EC is exercising its constitutional mandate, there will be chaos. Or if there is chaos, somebody should be blamed. Why should you that, blame that's chaos? Conditional. Well, what is conditional. Is. Well, so why should why should even somebody who wants to lead this country, who has been president before, initiate this warmongering attitude? He, why? Has, he has a dissenting view. Does that make him a warmonger? Dissenting view mm. to incite other people. Do you know his followers? Mm. NDC is not a small party. With all respect, NDC is a major party in our country today. Mm -hmm. And if they want to perpetuate antisocial behaviors, seriously, they're going to get followers. Do you know when me and Honorable meet here? Mm -hmm. We are giving this more. We have argued. Right. <laughs> but we are friends. You see, when we finish, we we'll go and talk. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, even we, whose tenacities mm -hmm. or whose, I, I mean, authority mm -hmm. or leverage cannot be compared to that of former President Mahama. Our statement, if not guarded, could let other people put up antisocial behaviors and chaotic situations will erupt. 
how much more somebody who has been president before, mm -hmm. who in terms of leadership of this country, you cannot heap scorn on his tenacity and leverage. He goes about making this unfortunate statement. When I heard it, I was so surprised that, wow, what's happening? That just because the EZ wants to do the right thing, exercise his constitutional mandate, nothing outside the laws and the legal framework of our country, a former president who wants to become a president mm -hmm. has begun drumming war, is it, and backing on war mongering mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Why even if, why should this even come into his mind that because EZ is doing this, there could be that? So he is telling other people, mm -hmm. okay, analytically, okay, that, hey, you can go and put up this behavior. If they want to do this, don't allow. I'm, is that I'm, your inference? Oh, but what does you mean? If, so why if? What is it that should bring this? It's I a don't even get it. clause. Look, one thing about the registration exercise, so far as we are in a democratic dispensation, mm -hmm. you can decide not to register, then you won't go and vote. Okay. 1992, what happened? The MPP fraternity decided not to partake mm -hmm. the election exercises. Okay. Okay. And the NDC went ahead and ruled this country. <laughs> there wasn't any mail. If they think 2012, NDPP were not interested in what they did about the register. Mm -hmm. They went ahead and they, they demonstrated and they were beaten. They went ahead and ruled this country. Okay. If they are not interested, mm -hmm. they should leave other Ghanaians of of, of, of peaceful mind. Okay, the Ghanaians right. that are actually expecting tranquility and peace, mm. coexistence, forward movement of our socioeconomic I mean, platform mm. or framework to ensure that this country moves forward and progresses, they should allow them to go and register. Okay. But if anybody thinks he can put up any antisocial behavior, mm. look, I am not calling for because I think peace should override any what, other what thing. What will happen to them? What will happen is that there's rule of law. The law will deal with you. And nobody will allow you to misbehave at the places we are registering. Okay. At least, uh, thanks God, thanks, thanks God, thanks, thanks be to God and Ekufuado. <laughs> we have ambulances all around. If you misbehave and you cause yourself any harm, mm. the ambulances in the constituency will just transport you peacefully okay. to the nearby hospital. Thank you. By the time you come, I'll probably have finished voting. Thank you. Please, there should be peace, 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 peace. The war mongering will not happen. Okay. El Kufuadi says Thank there will be peace your, your before, up, peace during, and peace after the registration, and even the voting. Thank you. If you don't want to register, don't, you don't want to vote, don't, don't go and register. You. If you don't register and we are voting, stay home, and let's have our peace and go ahead with the things that will actually be of beneficial to this country. Thank you. You have had seven minutes. So, it's your time Thank now. Thank you. Uh, it's starting at 33. I'm sure by 40, you should knock off. Thank you. Well, a few rebuttals. Mm. Um, Are you mongering war? Is President Mahama really mongering war? A few rebuttals first. Um, demonstrations in this country have always turned violent. Some, I mean, have sometimes turned violent. Recently, the law students embarked on a demonstration. It right. turned violent. Mm. I don't know if it means that Nana Kufuadu unleashed violence on the law students, but going by the logic, maybe he did. Now, a number of things cause demonstrations to be violent. Either the police who are to provide security for the demonstrators mm -hmm. get unnecessarily provocative and just show brute force, mm -hmm. or the demonstrators uh, are indisciplined <coughs> and Sorry. insist on you know what was not agreed upon. And in both scenarios, you can have the demonstration leading to violence. Right. If the police are just in discipline and want to show brute force, it can happen. Well, like, we have had a few like, demonstrations yes, recently. Like, yes, like, was like, 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 like may, may have happened with the law students because okay. we all saw how they went through Makola, went through all the streets and, you know, stuck to the routes that they agreed with the police, mm -hmm. but without any provocation, how they were uh, attacked when they got to... Um, I mean, near your premises, mm -hmm. almost to the Jubilee, uh, House. Jubilee House. We all saw what happened. But <laughs> our recent demonstrations, it's not because in some cases the security forces... When it's forces, have come close to the, the security, House, yes, the, the yes, police, that was the agreement. The security says, 
look, we don't think that they were it supposed is to present a petition, right. and it was agreed that they would present a petition okay. to the president. But the leaders could have done that. And the Jubilee that. House is the president. But their, their leaders could have done that. Well, that is that is that is besides the point. I don't want us to discuss. <laughs> I don't want us to, to reduce okay. it to mm -hmm. you, who was right. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that demonstrations sometimes get violent. And by that principle, and you're saying that then it means that. So if if he is suggesting that a demonstration in the past became violent and it was the NDC and President Mahama who unleashed val I mean the violence on the demonstrators. By that same logic, we can say it's Nana Kufadu who okay. unleashed violence let's, on let's the students. Forward. Now, um, uh, you gave me time, so let me use it. Yes. Now, um, 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 if we went on demonstrations and it didn't become violent, you don't give the credit to the sitting government. We were disciplined. We followed what we agreed with the police. And even though there were uh, uh, provocations, our leaders you know, ensured that the people did not misbehave. And so there was no encounter with the police. If you went on a demonstration and you were unruly and you could not control your people and they went into a clash with the police, that's your matter. The EC, uh, 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 the advice from former President mm -hmm. Mahama mm -hmm. that people should allow the EC to do their work. This lie has been going on for a very long time and it's time we correct it. What it had truth? to do with the EC's logo choice of logo okay we it saw was it, choice, we liked it it was choice of logo mm. so the ec chose its logo and you people in opposition wanted to determine whether the logo was nice or not and he said leave the ec to do their work okay you used it as a reason to lambast and lampoon the ec officer that you finally succeeded in in removing from office when you won power so he said, leave her alone to do her work. So it, is not so that it has nothing to do with the compilation of register. Mm -hmm. Let's not make that mistake. But you see, Johnny, it is very refreshing, very, very refreshing mm -hmm. to hear Nana Kufuado, our president, speak of peace. Very, very refreshing and assuring of same. You should be happy. That's what I'm saying is refreshing, to hear him speak of peace. Finally, finally, and assure us that there will be peace. We all know who the man Nana Kufuado is. And then he says... Is it about him? And then he says... I'll, I, 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 I took the Daily Graphic to see if it was a quotation, but it's okay. not. It's yeah. a report. Uh, but the reporter claims that is what he said. And I okay. find that interesting. Uh, that he was confident that the good sense of Ghanaians, which has preserved the peace and stability of the Fourth Republic for the last 27 years, mm -hmm. would prevail. And that Ghanaians will not permit any desperate loser mm. to plunge the country into chaos. Who, who is that desperate loser? I hope he's not speaking about himself. I hope so. Sincerely. Because Nana Kufuado has never in this country accepted any results without a fight since he started running for presidency. Never. Unless the 2016 one which declared him winner. In 2008... It took even President Kufour to intervene mm -hmm. and to assure that the Electoral Commission should be emboldened to declare the winner and he was ready to hand over. Even that, Nana Kufuado and Atachia went to court to serve an injunction on the EC to, you know, uh, not to enable them to uh, uh, declare the results. Mm -hmm. That is the man, a desperate loser. In 2012, we all saw what happened. In fact, ambassadors and high commissioners and the diplomatic corps had to go to his house to beg him when his supporters were unleashing mayhem on reporters and innocent Ghanaians around his house and at circle. It was in his right to go to court. Before the court. But even the court action was another demonstration of a loser who will never give up. Because the court eventually confirmed that he lost. So I hope he's not speaking about himself. And I agree with him that Ghanaians will not allow a desperate loser mm. like he has demonstrated in the past. If he loses, and inshallah he will lose in 2020 to plunge this country into chaos. God forbid. He's noted for never accepting results if it is not in his yes, favor. He's promising that peace President Mahama, President Mahama on the other side lost 2016. Mm -hmm. And look at how gracefully he handed over. Look at how gracefully he handed over. Even though he had the state authority behind him. Okay, President Akufuado, on the other hand, in 2008, did not have the state authority. But up. wouldn't even hand over. Mm -hmm. 2012, wouldn't give up. So I hope he's not speaking about himself. Okay. And we all know the, 
the bulldogs, the 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 the, 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 the vigilante groups that he has you know superintended over the years and his declaration of all die be die is still very fresh on our minds so i hope he's not speaking about himself okay but we all want peace in this country we do. and we we pray that uh, the state institutions that are taxed to play their role so that we can have peace during i mean before during and after the elections will do uh, what is expected of them okay. and i would like to reoccur president mohammed's you know uh, caution mm -hmm. to especially the security agencies right. that if anybody plays like they say in security language the fool he will be held responsible after the elections when the ndc is declared winners thank you and uh, this is to all the young men out there don't allow any politician to use you for uh, any any what do you call it uh, violence any form of violence don't allow uh, anybody <coughs> to use you for some form of violence like mustafa Hamid said if they come asking you to go and foment violence tell them to bring their children to lead the pack but i have a video for you take a look at it, it won't come back uh, i'm sure it will settle the dust on what was uh, discussed earlier at the beginning of the show take a look at it <laughs> And the video we showed you was a uh, chopper of the Ghana uh, Air Force in the Republic of Ghana. And uh, that's the Honorable Minister for Aviation, Mr. Kofi Adada. He's also the MP for Navrongo Central. That's an amateur video showing how uh, allegedly he had gone in the chopper to file uh, his nomination for re-election as the parliamentary candidate to represent the people of Na uh, Navrongo Central on behalf of the MPP. So that perhaps settles the dust on whether or not there was uh, uh, an helicopter that was used 
or not used. Um, great. You know, Johnny. Okay. Oh, <coughs> let, no, no, no. It is, his, it, is, it is his turn to okay. have a okay. rebuttal. Okay. All right. Sorry. So, so Steve, um, Steve. In the first place. It's 45 here. I didn't, <coughs> I didn't know this. And I'll be surprised if actually the context is right. Mm -hmm. Whether uh, Honorable Ada mm -hmm. actually picked helicopter and the purpose for him to actually fly that mm. was to go and submit his form. Mm. Then that would be bad. So it means if that is the case, I'm very sorry because I didn't know. It's not like I know and I'm lying to Ghanaians. I would never do that thing. I'm okay. a different place. But in any case... So you, you didn't in, know and you were saying that it's a lie? You are not but even now, it. you cannot justify he actually went mm. there too far because of that with the helicopter. It may be coincided with something. Okay. I'll find out. But okay. boss, coming back to what he said... Mm. That and there's, there's, not one minute, there's one minute oh, of your time I left. At least. No, I'm just reminding you. You are me. using this one minute to say the <laughs> So you're giving me already two minutes. Mm. after 20, 2012 election, mm. what happened? He was, I judge, one of the most peaceful great men on the continent of Africa. We all know what happened. Mm. Recently, when former president Mahama lost, do you know what went into it? What went into it? Do you know, even international bodies had to come in. There are things that we don't bring them public domain. Okay. Check the time he lost and the time he even accepted and, and, and congratulated Daniel Kufuad. Go and check. Go and check. Look, Kufuad is one person. The NDC, they tried so hard to tag, tag him with a lot of bad things that I wouldn't, as a matter of ethics, will not go into it. They said all sorts of things. We were told Mr. Mahama called President Kufuad to congratulate him and to concede defeat. Is that correct? But you hear what I said right now? Mm. Said it took time for him. Exactly. To so why are you saying this? How, I how said, much time? Please. I said that go and check the time he lost and the time he called to congratulate uh, Nanad. So why are you asking me is it true? Is, is that correct that he congratulated? Because I haven't said he didn't. These are the things I have issues sometimes. It's not mm. like I'm a litigant. I made a clear emphatic statement that Check the time. And the international bodies, some, at least, I know a great king in Ghana that had to come in. You don't know what happened behind the scenes. He didn't want to accept. I also they have set up a whole lot of things to even to the point of destroying Ghana. <laughs> then he's talking about these Okay, things. thank you. What? Thank you. Your two minutes is done. Okay. Thank you. And uh, we, we, we understand that the language in the video we just showed you is uh, in the Kasana language. And it says that uh, one of the elders in a party up there in the Navrungo Central was asking uh, what the helicopter was meant for. The understanding that was given, and in, in that we've got a translator to do that, was that there was an elder in a party who is coming. And then the conversation is that, what is he coming to do? What's the MP coming to do? So he's only coming to file his nomination. So we got somebody to translate uh, the casino in that video as well for you. Uh, you know, Johnny, I hope I also market. get to, to two minutes. So fanatic, fanatic, a person filled with excessive and single-minded zeal, okay. especially for an extreme religious or political cause. Where are you quoting from? That is from the, um, well, it's online dictionary, okay. Oxford, okay. Oxford, online dictionary, especially for an extreme it's religious or political cause. So when I say fanatism, you have seen it played out here. That is why when you, you don't even know, so your first your approach, reading. your first approach is, is a lie. You won't even take your time to find out. And that is why when I started, I said between the two of us, I'm sure people know who is close to being a liar. But he talks about, you know, 2016 general elections. One, and, one then, and then he suggests that, oh, certain things they know that are not. Well, Nanado's own in 2008 and 2012 didn't, went beyond a point where you can suppress it. Everybody saw it. What took Mr. Mahama so long to make that call? That Steve what took him about? so long? Who gave him a time that he was supposed to make that call? <laughs> But again, Johnny, 2008-2012, Nana Kufuado has never congratulated anyone. Never. Really? He oh. has never called to congratulate. Ah, how did you, listen, how did you know that? Listen, go and read, go and read, go and read Kennedy, um, what's his name, um, book, the yeah, book by okay, chasing, the chasing the Elephant into the Bush. Go and read it. He was the campaign manager and he said even the concession speech, they had to draft it in such a way that they did not congratulate President Mills. So you are taking his statement to be 
Exactly he was the campaign coordinator and he drafted, he was part of drafting. Okay. okay, thank you. Nana Kufado has never let, congratulated. Let's, let's go to Bella. And so if you say back. there was a delay, congratulation, because according to you, you had to establish a time frame within which it had happened. There was a congratulation. He has never done it. Okay. So thank he's you. a sour loser all the time. Okay. And we play this time around when he loses, he will not hold us to ransom. Remember, In 2008, you held us to ransom. 2012, I, he held us to ransom. Thank you very much. No, please, I am still within my two minutes. No, your two minutes is finished. Thank you. Bella, okay. we can't keep oh, a lady let's waiting. Let's, go no, let's, let's, let's get a softer, a softer version of ourselves <laughs> <laughs> to calm so tempest. This one says, good morning. It's, it's I think graceful. no comments made by ex-president Mahama calls for chaos. <laughs> so the president should rather be worried about losing <laughs> power come December 2020 because defeat <laughs> is glaring. Uh, this is from Halim in Tamale. From Rao inside Newtown, it says the AC just won't um, get 10% contract benefits and the contractors want the job. So there's no way they will say anything positive about the current register. They are both thinking about themselves and not Ghana. Mr. Host, that's Johnny Hughes. Good morning. Why is MPP too bitter? The MPP man should respect the viewers. And he calls himself a lecturer. Allah will definitely save this country from oh, wicked people. On. Walanyo Nakwetia says, I bear with the president that Ghana won't burn, won't see any conflict, even to an extent that we become refugees. Ghana is peaceful and will continue to be peaceful before, during, and after the 2020 election. The warmongers should start preaching peace because losing can never be the end of the world. My regards will continue to go to NSC Akumi, the aspiring candidate on the ticket of the NPP in Akwetia constituency. Good morning, Johnny, and to your cherished viewers. The Electoral Commission will definitely be blamed of any chaos after the elections if they go ahead to compile a new voters' register for the 2020 parliamentary and presidential elections. Ghanaians will be their own judges to choose between former President John Dramani Mahama and President Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, who is violent and who is the warmonger. EC opts to do the right thing. Uh, EC should opt to do the right thing, else all die be died. This is from Triddles. Good morning, TV3. Johnny, please tell Mr. Stephen Amwa that old age is not synonymous to wisdom. And please tell Honorable Suyuni to stop being mischievous. If the EC deems it their constitutional mandate to give us a new voters register, they should also crack the whip on the 25 political parties flouting the EC's law immediately. This is from Newman in Takrade. We thank God President Kufado is now preaching peace. We all saw what the desperate loser paraded uh, his hoodlums at Obraspot to splash innocent Ghanaian's cars um, and beat innocent citizens in the 2012 <laughs> aftermath of the declaration by the EC. It took Yaya Boni of Benin to calm Nanado's tempest to accept defeat. Indeed, Ghana has gone far. Hashtag peace. Pasasa from Elembele. These political parties should bear in mind that a progressive national agenda is greater than their selfish agendas to attain power at all costs. Let's all look at the bigger picture of having a better Ghana rather than paying attention to individual whims and caprices. Now, this is uh, from Jeremiah Amwa. He says, long live Ghana. Good morning, Johnny and your team. Jeremiah is sending us a message from Tema Newtown. Good morning, Johnny. Ex-President Mohammed's war words are just signs of desperation, and he would rather be held responsible if he dares attempt any violent approach in December 2020. God bless Ghana. This is from Effa Isaac, a trima in Webieja North constituency. For more, uh, for more, for Benito. Okay. Good morning, TV3 crew, uh, for the good work. Please, Stephen should be there tickling himself and think propaganda can win the NPP elections using state resources for personal gains from Accra to Navrongo to file his nomination. Indeed, Ghana is working from OB Osu Alata. And the final one says, Good morning, Johnny. The president is just given empty assurance. When in real uh, when on the ground he's playing war drums. Hypocrisy will not help Ghana. Let's call a spade a spade. The problem we have today in Ghana is a Kufuado and Madame Jean Mensa. God save Ghana from this corrupt government. This is Tony from Bolga. That's about it. Thank you very much indeed, uh, uh, Bella. Let's let's wrap up. Uh, Steve, you, you first. Um, your closing thoughts. I know what please. Well, maybe you have rebuttals unless if you don't have rebuttals. Oh, what yeah. I can say is that um, Ghanaians should assess the performance of a Kufuado based on what he inherited and where we are today. Okay. The parameters are clear unless you are dishonest. And two, fanatism doesn't constitute what I said. Mm. When one takes a trained position against another probably 
stakeholder without any justifiable analysis or objectivity. My point has been that, I, in my opinion, mm. if somebody is a good Christian or a good Muslim reads the Bible and the Quran and vote for NDC, personally, I doubt him because between the two, mm. one is better and no honest person. It doesn't mean NDC never did anything good. Well, everything MPP do we do is good, is better or good. No, but between the two, you can compare. Ekufuado just took over a country that teachers' allowance has been scrapped, nurses' allowance has been scrapped, NHIS was going back to cash and carry. I mean, at least he's been able to fix almost all these things, even not hundred percent. He's brought the, free the, SHS. The service providers Light say is back. They were checking out of NHIS because the government owes them a lot of money. No, go and check. It's far better. I'm not saying hundred percent. They have. They've been. They've been speaking. To I'm us. saying that. That is far better. I used to work there because you always, I don't know if they changed the system. Mm -hmm. They used to have three, is it three month period? Right. You pay you 40%, they vet, or six weeks, I've forgotten. Then they vet your, your claims, and if it's correct, they pay the rest. Okay. The last time I spoke to one of them, he said since October. Okay. It does, I'm not saying it's cool, but mm -hmm. at least it's better than 2016 what was, what was that Christian. Yeah. Hospitals came out, right. and even the press conference that they were not taking NHIS again. Mm. It's far better. A Kufuadu came. If you can pay your child's school fees, you say free SHS is no good. He came. Now we are having light. Go to the banks today and ask. The interest rate before Kufuadu mm. was. A Kufuadu has reduced about reduced or scrapped about fifteen tax components in Ghana today. Mm. So almost everything he came to meet. Look, agriculture is doing better. Industries are doing better. It's a fact. I'm not saying there is no hash. Okay. So, four more years for Nana, it's not just any blatant statement like others are saying, oh, Ghana is hard, oh, friends and families, oh, there's corruption. Things that you cannot substantiate. What we are saying is that development is a process. Okay. He inherited a dying economy. He inherited pro-poor policies. They were all dying. He inherited high interest rate and inflationary rate. Now, let's find ourselves in a situation we want to be honest with God. Mm. Are these better or worse than the Kufu? Thank Simple. you. Thank you. So, any your closing thoughts as well. Uh, Steven says they've done better than you, and on the scorecard, they would perform any day. I mean, any honest person would choose the NPP over the NDC. Your closing thoughts? You see, sometimes the pain inflicted on us is not as painful as the cluelessness and the dishonest that they demonstrate when they are talking to us. The health service providers mm. say they are owed 9 to 14 months. 9 to 14 months. Mm. And he says that's better. I'm sure the health providers know what they have been going through. It was not up to 14 months when they said the scheme had collapsed. But we do know today that utilization has gone down. As far, utilization simply means people who use their national health insurance card okay. to access health care. It's gone down. Dramatically. But they paid your debt. Again. Over 500 million. Again, again. <laughs> but your debt was paid. Please, please. I don't, this is, shouldn't be a race to the bottom. Let's make progress. <laughs> you know, the people of Ghana must be served. The 5 billion they claim they paid, the health providers came out to challenge that. And you know that. That's so it is not just, just that don't make, not just don't allow him. Just don't, just don't, 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 don't introduce it because you want to make conversation. Because we know that the health providers came to challenge the amount that was quoted. Again, again, look, to whom much is given, much is expected. President Mahama managed this economy with 6 billion oil revenue. Revenue from oil, six billion. Mm -hmm. By the time he was leaving office, he had made sure that we had two FPSOs and two oil wells. That now gives Nana Kufuado twenty billion. So oil he revenue. had oil revenue. He had six billion oil wells. to run. Please, and then, yes, who discovered that? And ten. Please stop it. Sankofa no. and ten. No, it's not now, true. Please. Allow him to control it. It's never true. Control See, there are rules to this debate. Sure. We agree. So, so, so oil revenue, six billion. President Mama was using to do all the things that he was doing. You have 20 billion. Tax revenue, President Mama was getting 27 billion. Okay. Today you are getting about, in fact, over 40 billion. Mm -hmm. And guess how come it has increased? Apart from the increase in rates, you also had the ports that President Mahama expanded, which gives you much more revenue now. <laughs> so, 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 so the question is, what are you doing with all this money? Again, you can't you see claim, SHS, you claim, you can't see planting for food and jobs. Look, let me, you can't see one district, one factory, Johnny, Johnny, one village, Johnny, one dam. Johnny, Johnny, the, the free drones SHS, please, for medical delivery, the ambulances. Don't repeat the propaganda. Let me answer ah. them. 
Listen, hey, you guys free SHS. The total so the expenditure. The, propaganda. the total expenditure. Uh, Ghanians are watching. On free SHS. Hmm. The total expenditure by government since its inception, according to the 2020 budget, is 5.6 billion. Hmm. 5.6 billion. That is a quarter of how much you are getting from oil alone. Okay. And yet you have borrowed unprecedented. Like can, can the borrowing that this government has done, we, it cannot be compared to any other okay. government. Thank you. Our time is up. Meanwhile, the, the, I'm telling you, the oh, free SHS, just, just, to oh, speak. you want to go back no, to no, me time, and not come back is, to me again. The time is that. Then ah, you're not being fair to me. No, then just let me finish the time. So you both have had two minutes. Oh, yes. So if we both have had two minutes, then we leave. But don't let him bully you to go back to him again. No, he's scared. You will not give me the time so I continue. Nobody is bullying. Yes. Oh, you don't. So you have all had your two minutes to wrap up. what? That's fair. Now he's scared. That's fair. So I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm saying that, and by way of wrapping up, by okay. way of, I'm saying uh, that, look, so you have had in more in you give me in one terms of the that, that <laughs> finish. <laughs> The, the, the last thing we to want show. to do is to pledge to peace. They should, so they should, let's they should, uh, let Ghanaians know that we're pledging to peace. And let, could let, we please put our right let hand President up? President Mahama knows we are pledging to peace. Okay, could we please started. put our right hand up, Sweeney? Uh, I'm a very okay, peaceful so person. Okay, so I'm a peaceful person. I don't even need to pledge. Former I President show, Mahama, we beg you, Ghana needs peace. Okay. Kids and women don't want to die, so I pledge peace. Okay, Sweeney, pledge peace. I pledge to yeah, do anything he doesn't even want and to do support it. anything <laughs> that will keep this you country have to pray for okay. you. <laughs> peaceful during, before, and after the elections. Okay. So let's show as peace, our yeah. constitution, you know, enshrines us to do peace. Okay. Thank okay. You. Peace. peace. All right. Peace, so we pledge to peace. peace, peace, uh, peace. Stephen Amwa, Maslock, <laughs> and also Honorable <laughs> Alas and Sunil is the member of Parliament for the Tamil North constituency. Don't go and beat yourselves out there and fight yourselves out there because uh, you had arguments.